Hey guys, how's it going? Juan Bustos here with uh, Hilco Home. I'm out here in the neighborhoods, just kind of doing a little bit of driving for dollars, and I wanted to make a quick video show you guys exactly what it is that you should be looking for when you're driving for dollars, right? Uh, you're gonna want to map out your route, right? I usually do five by five blocks. Now that doesn't seem like a lot, but you'd be surprised how many houses you get, right? Just print out a Google Maps and highlight your streets. So this one's six by five, right? So I'm gonna cover. I'm gonna cover a solid eleven streets. From there, I'll have my notepad, right? So if you're by yourself, you're gonna have to drive really slowly. I typically won't go past 25 to 30 miles an hour because I don't wanna miss anything, right? And if somebody needs to pass you up while you're driving for dollars, you can move to the side. So that's that's basically all you need to get started. When, when you go driving for dollars, a lot of these videos, YouTube videos and all these other videos, they're gonna tell you only look for vacant houses. It's not true. You want to look for all kinds of houses so let's go ahead and let's look around we're, we're not going to be going past 30 miles an hour look so we'll, we'll see that one 2935 chihuahua this one doesn't look vacant it looks like people live here but it looks like it needs a lot of work right and it looks like they've got an older model vehicle it looks like there might be an addition in the back it looks like their roof isn't even a real roof right so we'll go ahead and write that one down 2935 chihuahua and what I'll do, man, just to just to hurry things up, is I'll just write Chihuahua right here. And then I'll just put 2935. And then I'll just write the numbers there until I go to the next street. And then I'll write the next street again. And I know that every single thing in this column will be Chihuahua Street, right? So there's one. Now, that one didn't look vacant, did it? But it did look like it needed work. So those are definitely the kind of stuff. Those are definitely the kind of houses that... Uh, that you want to be on the on the lookout for and if you can see what what i like to look for is um for sale by owner signs or for rent signs if they're for sale by owner those are beautiful because they already want to sell and they already look there's another one 2921 chihuahua if they already want to sell they're more open to negotiation and the ones that are for rent might want to uh might be tired of you know pesky tenants and having to deal with clean out and whatnot Guys, look at this one. 2915, this one looks like it's falling down on itself, right? But there's a car parked there, right? The gate's locked. It looks like there's two cars parked there. So somebody's living there. It looks like there's activity here, but it looks like they're living terribly. So they might be wanting to get out of this property. Let's see if we can help them out later on. Maybe we'll send them a, a, a letter. Son, you want to keep an eye out on a house? Uh, you really, really want these, especially in these lower end neighborhoods, you really, really want these de decrepit ones. Like this one, this one actually looks vacant. So if you notice on the door, this is a vacant property, right? And it looks like it's got some sort of notice there. Let me pull up so that way you can actually see it. It's got some sort of notice there. And it looks like some sort of city complaint of some sort probably like an out-of-state owner or something so we can track down that owner send them a letter maybe even give them a phone call if we can find the, the phone number we'll send them a letter and or give them a call and see if they're interested in selling we might be able to get this one dirt cheap you gotta have your route plot, plotted out right you've got to have uh your pen and pad pen and notepad right you don't necessarily have to know the area but you also have to take into consideration things like what time you're going to go driving for dollars. If you're going to go at 5 o'clock when it's traffic hour, you know, maybe bring somebody along, a family member or somebody where you can uh, have them write down the addresses and, and that way you don't have to stop every single time. Uh, so that's driving for dollars, guys. It's pretty simple, pretty cut, plain and simple. It's one of the best ways to generate a good list that you can... Uh, that you can uh, that you can send mailers to or you can skip trace and call so that way we can uh, you can get some good solid leads. Mm -hmm.